enjoy my ice cream. A very hot day. I mean, come on, guys. It's July. It's gonna, of course, it's gonna be a very hot day. But that's not probably what you're here for in the first place. It's really good. Even though I just got through with the gym, and now 2,000 calories right down. And now, <laughs> all that work, all for nothing. But come on, ice cream. Bad for the body, good for the soul, though. But that's not the reason why you're here. We're gonna be talking about Uniform de Vermach, what happened, why I'm not doing as many videos as I want to, and what sort of problems that I've encountered that led to, well, not many, most productions of why I'm not putting together Uniform de Vermach. But first, let me just say that if you're in need of, you know, some more cash and you want a higher, well, not a higher source of income, but an extra 20 here or there just to help you out with, you know, everyday life, be sure to go to your app store, download Big Token, and use my call signer name to get more points as well. And the reason why Big Token is there is because, well, there are a lot of creeps on the internet, okay? There are a lot of creeps on the internet that just scour your entire network just for information that you possibly may or may not have. So the better reason is, why not make that information public, okay? Big Token helps out. They are literally giving you money for public information, okay? Just to make better products, make better services, well, all of the above, basically. And like I said again, these guys are basically just giving you money for information that you have, okay? And it's better just to make your information public. I mean, just like I said before, there are creeps on the internet. They want to steal your information. They want to steal your data. And the better way to make it public just by downloading Big Token off your app store. And be sure to use my call sign name just to let you know whom, or who sent you. And you'll be able to get some more points after that as well. And again, that's Big Token on your app store. Use my name, Skinwalker, all caps, S-K-I-N-W-A-L-K-E-R. Skinwalker. Oh yes, the Uniform to Vermont. Now, the reason why I literally up shit's creek with that paddle with the uniform is not anything bad per se, but okay, let's just get through the reasons why I actually stopped. Well, I didn't stop. More like snags within within the process of putting this damn thing together. I mean, I didn't know it was gonna be so much trouble from here on out. It really, really isn't. So, number one, you guys probably know from my sit rep from a long time ago of how some dude decided to ruin my entire day by destroying that window in the back of my car, as well as the other side of the window on that side as well. They were like, hey, I'm going to ruin this guy's day today and bust his windows. So that happened, and I was more pissed and angry. I've never been so angry in my entire life, and I had to go, I had to, go to work with a trash with a trash bag covering all that so it was freezing cold as well it was early it was early february and it was just gonna get colder from there on out and i had to take a big loan because insurance can only do so much man that was pretty much it so yeah that was a big snag and it took me at least about three three no way, i think it was like a good whole month for me to get everything together and most importantly of all just to just to get the window fixed because i had to get that window fixed guys i really had to get that window fixed and reason number two, when I was coming home from work, I noticed that this streamlined puddle of, I don't know, I mean, it was liquid that was coming off from my vehicle, right where the engine is at. So I assumed the worst, I, I assumed it was oil. And I knew a problem like that could easily be fixed. But unfortunately, when I took a closer look at the, at the, at the, at the liquid, the puddle, the pile of, the puddle of liquid, and I determined that it was antifreeze. So I had an antifreeze leak. It was somewhere, and I did everything I could just to find it, but then it came to an epic conclusion that it was, that that my radiator was busted. So, yeah, that, that happened right there. And then, uh, so, thankfully, I replaced it, and it, was, uh, it wasn't a bad agonizing process as well. So, that took a whole other month of funding my uniform altogether. So, that was, yeah, that was bad. That was really bad in general. I read the things I do for this car... Things I do for this car. Love you. It's not a bad thing. Take care of your vehicles, they'll take care of you. And number three, you probably would think that, well, what about all the haters on Instagram and all those haters on YouTube? I really don't care what they really have to say. I've been around for so long in my life and I've been called almost every single ugly thing in the dictionary or in the urban dictionary, I tell you. 
and I'm pretty used to it. Sure, it bothers me once in a while. I mean, just being called a Navajo Nazi. Well, okay, that's your opinion. I mean, that's the interwebs for you. Nothing too bad on YouTube. It's just, it's just, it's just for to accept that. I'm getting a lot of support from you guys saying to continue on with your uniform. And I'm sorry to say that I didn't make enough content to actually, you know, to reinforce that narrative by saying, you know what, fuck, you know what, to hell with these guys, to hell with their opinions. I'm still gonna do this because why? I, I'm doing this. I'm still doing this, guys. And no amount of hate on both Instagram and YouTube is gonna stop me from doing this, okay? It really, really isn't. Hell no, I'm not gonna stop it right now. Now, you may think that's reason number three, but no, I mean, like I say again, my haters are my motivators. They really are, they absolutely are. And as the old saying goes, I never met a single one of my haters who's doing better than me. Think about that, think about that. But the third reason why I'm, well, I hit a snag with the uniform of Vermont is just the fact that Getting all the cash together, okay? I'm getting all the cash together and I'm preparing for, I'm currently preparing for Operation Copyright 5 down here in New Mexico, well, basically the ass end of New Mexico and the south, and as well as another um, Muslim event after that as well. And so it's a pretty, it's a pretty busy, month it's pretty busy getting around to the fall season and that's where all the milsom unit um, milsom events are going to be coming around so have you guys ever noticed as well that i haven't used my uniform in any one of my gameplay videos that's because i'm still putting it together guys i still wanted to put it together it's gonna be awesome okay it certainly is i put a lot of time and effort into this thing and i want to make sure that it's just complete to the point where it's completely authentic okay and it's also for historical reasons as well i mean Come on, I mean, the reason why I started this whole entire gig is because of history. I want to preserve history for the better of it. Especially with the world going crazy of how the Democrats are saying that ICE is literally like the Gestapo back then, back in the day. They aren't, okay? They really, really are not. I mean, there is no power in the world to, uh, you know what? I'm just really, really sick of this entire thing. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is by far one of the most biggest idiots in the entire U.S. government, okay? She's really dumb. She doesn't know anything. She doesn't get her facts straight. She relies on her feelings and her emotions. Ah, it's just really, really dumb. She's really, really stupid. Really stupid. Uh, and she's ruined history. She's ruining history. She doesn't know any history. She should take her ass back to school and... I don't know, get a refund. She doesn't know anything. Ah, oh, I'm just too, I'm just too angry about that sort of subject, okay? She doesn't know a damn thing, and people like me have to pick up the bits and pieces that she left behind because that she doesn't know anything, guys. She doesn't know anything. In her brief time in the political limelight, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has said a lot of interesting stuff. I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely factually and semantically correct than about being morally right but being factually correct is important it's absolutely important the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change and your biggest issue is your your biggest issue is how are we going to pay for it this is our world war ii what this requires is massive government intervention. It does. It does. Yeah, I have no problem saying that. The right does try to mis mischaracterize uh, what we're doing as though it's like some kind of massive government takeover. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, what we're trying to do is, well, obviously, it's not that. You're talking about zero carbon emissions, no use of fossil fuels within 12 years? That is the goal. It's ambitious. And How is that possible? You're talking about everybody having to drive an electric car? It's going to require a lot of rapid change that we don't even conceive as possible right now. So not only dumb and totally ignorant of everything, but utterly self-assured. If there were a clinical exam for self-esteem, she'd be in the 100th percentile. <laughs> How do people get like that? Is it our education system? Is it high schools? Is it colleges? Well, aside from stupidity being the popular thing in Congress, I mean, history is in trouble, and I'm willing to do whatever I can to pick up the bits and pieces and promote, you know, a good environment for you guys to actually know some stuff, dissect some information, and pass it on to individuals who desperately need it as well. Because the reason why I put this uniform together is to make sure to put a, put a better image of who the German soldier was, what he was doing, what he fought for, why did he enlist, most importantly of all, what he wore as well. 
because the German army has been given a bad rep ever since World War II. I mean, I even go ask a random amount of people who, who whose families are in the armed forces and have some concept of the military because if people... Uh, uh, I'm a little biased when it comes down to talking about people with military knowledge. I'm biased against them because they really don't know a damn. They really don't know what, what which branch of the military is which. They figure out the army does everything. Believe me, I've, I've, I've seen, I've, I've heard this individual give this type of opinion and it's just... <laughs> so yeah, I even go up and ask these individuals who have concept with, mili with military um, knowledge and I ask them, what's the difference between the Wehrmacht here and the Waffen SS? Silence. 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 They really don't understand the concept of differences between both of these two branches. You have the Wehrmacht here, the armed forces, the army armed forces, as well as the Waffen SS, the, the armed service hand of the Schwarzstaffel. Schwarz these guys were badasses. I mean, it's basically the differences between wolves and dogs. Well, to put it into a more better sense, I mean, it's the differences between the hostility as well as discipline like same differences between the German um, Shepherd, the Eastern German Shepherd and the Western German Shepherd. There are two different species of dogs. They're the same type of dog, but two different, like I said again, there are two different characteristics that, that separate them as a whole. One is discipline, the other one is just true hostility. Real, really true hostility. I mean, I give them that type of concept and they really don't, they really still, still understand the concept and I have to, I have to give them more context. To know the differences between what was who were the Waffen SS and as well as the Wehrmacht. That's the uniform I'm going for, the Wehrmacht, the army uniform, army uniform that. Well, okay, let me get more context as to why. I mean, some guys are on on the interwebs are trying to decipher. Oh, how come you're wearing Waffen SS plans with the German army uniform? How come you have a different color of a, a bread bag? Why is your tunic not the same way? I mean, come on, guys, just give me a break. Go all the way back to episode one watch it and then watch the other episode giving me as i give a really good reason what i am trying to do and putting this uniform together number one let me just let me just let me just say it this way i am putting together a 1945 uniform you know everything's going straight to hell germany is surrounded with the western allies coming in from the west as well as the communist red army coming in from the east smashing their way into the east and everything is literally being thrown into service hell kids in the hitler youth were thrown into the volkssturm to at least hold off the, the the communist invasion as much as possible while they were driving deeper and deeper into berlin everything was thrown into service hell even luftwaffe personnel were thrown into the, the into the here I thought that was badass when I was seeing it like this. I mean, this was total war on a, on a on a grandeur level. It really, really was. So that's the uniform I'm putting together. A 1945, like, apocalypse uniform. Apocalypse now uniform that is a hodgepodge of all these different items, pouches, belts, uh, costume. Well, not a costume. Different types of clothing that any other standard German army infantry unit would use or try to use and try to apply in this hostile environment i mean the war is ending in germany guys the war is ending in germany and it's literally everyone's backs against the wall they're trying to still fight for their final victory adolf hitler's in his Führer bunker trying to hold out and giving as much orders as he can to what army units that were left and last but not least this is one fun fact that i can i can give you guys as well what was the last or what was the unit that was guarding the fuel bunker in 1945? Well, in April 1945, when the communists were coming in from the east. Ah, you guys all know? Well, if you do know, be sure to put it on my Instagram page, direct message me, and I'll definitely give you a free item if you guys know the answer. But if you don't know the answer, be sure to look up on my Instagram account. I'll have that question out for you guys, so you'll be able to know, well, be able to see which unit defended the fuel bunker to the last man. It's a very interesting answer, I can tell you that much. It's a very, very interesting answer. Uh, so those are my reasons. Car problems, two major car problems, and last but not least, preservation of history. I just gotta get back into the game. And one last final present I should give you guys is that the next video of you informed of like, I'm just gonna bring out a showcase of what I have, okay? What items I currently have, and I'll be able to decipher which items were, which what items are which, I'll be able to give you more historical context of the of the of the stuff that I've put, managed to put together, 
And it's going to be in a good environment. I'm not going to be in New Mexico. I mean, uh, uh, hindsight is a bitch. I should have put together an Africa Corps uh, uniform if I'm going to be stuck out here in the desert. But I'm going to be going into a more secluded and most importantly of all, a good environment so that you'll be able to... So, so the uniform will blend in with the back with the environment. I mean, not this one. I mean, stuck out here in northern New Mexico in the middle of the desert. No, the enemy will see me coming a mile away. They definitely will. So that's something to look forward to. I got a showcase to come up next video, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And to be sure to look out for that said video because it's gonna it's it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome, guys. It's gonna be it's totally awesome, and you're definitely gonna love it. You're absolutely gonna love it. So, I haven't quit on this project because I am I will be damned if I stop right now. Haters aren't going to stop me. Car problems are not going to stop me. And most importantly of all, the idiots in Congress are not going to stop me as well. Oh, there's just so many problems, but you know what? We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. We're going to punch them down. And we're going to face our problems, and we're going to beat them down. And we're going to get back up again if they start to attack back, because that's the spirit of the Prussian people right there. So, yeah, I'm ready for this. Be sure to look out for my next video, guys. It's going to deliver the greatest showcase that you're probably going to see because, like I said again, you're seeing an Navajo man putting on a German uniform. What more do you want? What more do you absolutely want? Come on. Come on. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much what I got for you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to look out for my next video because, like I said again, it's going to showcase everything that I currently have so far, and it's going to be a, good, it's going to be a great project. It really, really is. Be sure to tap that notification bell to see said video when it's going to come out. And you know, again, I'm just gonna put up the hype for it. I'm really gonna put up for the hype. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited as well. I'm really, really excited. And like I said again, I am not giving up a uniform to Vomak. I put this damn thing together, and I'm surely gonna finish it. I am gonna finish it. Just give me time. Just give me time. Just give me time. Like I said again, guys. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and thank you for hearing me plead out what just happened and what's going to happen later on in the future. And I'll definitely see you all on the battlefield. Be sure to keep your fingers on the trigger. Stand by to get some. And like I say again, I'll see you all on the battlefield. This is Skinwalker, signing off.